Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Thank you for visiting us, and many thanks to those who have subscribed, liked, commented, and shared our videos. Welcome to part 1 of our three part series, Discover 9 Types of Clutches and How They Work. In this video, we'll explore the fundamentals of clutches, unraveling the intricacies of the various types. Whether you're a seasoned mechanic or just curious about your vehicle's transmission, this series is your guide. When it comes to the functioning of various mechanical systems in vehicles, clutches play a crucial role in ensuring smooth operation. From manual transmission cars to heavy machinery, understanding the different types of clutches and how they work is essential for anyone interested in automotive engineering or mechanical systems. Friction Clutch a friction clutch is a crucial component in the operation of manual transmission systems. It allows the transfer of power from the engine to the transmission, enabling the driver to change gears and control the vehicle's speed. Let's explore two common types of friction clutches and their applications. Single plate clutch. The single plate clutch consists of a friction plate sandwiched between the flywheel and the pressure plate. When the clutch pedal is released, allowing the pressure plate to press against the friction plate, power is transmitted from the engine to the gearbox. Its simple construction and smooth engagement make it suitable for everyday driving. However, it may not handle high torque applications as effectively as other types of clutches. The advantages of a single plate clutch include its cost effectiveness and ease of operation, making it a popular choice in many passenger vehicles. On the downside, it may wear out more quickly under heavy use. Multi-plate clutch. In contrast, the multi-plate clutch features multiple friction plates interleaved with steel plates. This design significantly increases the available friction area, allowing it to handle higher torque levels while remaining compact in size. The multi-plate clutch is often found in high-performance sports cars and racing vehicles due to its superior torque transmitting capabilities. Its ability to withstand greater heat and stress also makes it suitable for heavy-duty applications, such as in motorcycles and agricultural machinery. While offering exceptional performance benefits, the multi-plate clutch may come with a higher price tag and increased complexity in assembly and maintenance. By understanding the construction and operation of both single-plate and multi-plate clutches, it becomes clear how these components play a vital role in the transmission of power within various automotive applications. Hydraulic Clutch Are you curious about how hydraulic clutches operate? Let's delve into the world of hydraulic clutches and uncover the fascinating way in which they work. Description of the Hydraulic Clutch System The hydraulic clutch system comprises two main components, the master cylinder and the slave cylinder. When the driver steps on the clutch pedal, Hydraulic fluid is pressurized in the master cylinder. This pressurized fluid is then transmitted through the hydraulic line to the slave cylinder, which causes the release bearing to disengage the clutch. In simpler terms, instead of using a mechanical linkage to transmit the force from the clutch pedal to the clutch, hydraulic clutches use a hydraulic mechanism to achieve the same purpose. Components of the hydraulic clutch system 1. Master Cylinder this component is located in the engine compartment and is directly connected to the clutch pedal. When the clutch pedal is depressed, the master cylinder compresses the hydraulic fluid. Slave cylinder, found near the transmission, this cylinder receives the hydraulic fluid from the master cylinder and then uses this pressure to move the release bearing, allowing the clutch to disengage. Hydraulic line. This line connects the master and slave cylinders, enabling the transmission of hydraulic fluid between the two components. Advantages of hydraulic clutches over mechanical clutches. Smooth engagement. Hydraulic clutches provide smoother engagement compared to their mechanical counterparts, enhancing the overall driving experience. Maintenance. They require less maintenance as there are fewer mechanical linkages that can wear out over time. Consistent performance. The hydraulic system provides consistent performance throughout the clutch's lifespan, as it is less affected by factors such as cable stretch and pedal free play. By leveraging hydraulic power, the hydraulic clutch system offers a more seamless and reliable operation, making it a game changer in the realm of clutch mechanisms. Cone clutch. When it comes to the different types of clutches, 
The comb clutch is a notable contender that finds extensive use in heavy-duty applications due to its robust construction and efficient working principle. Let's delve into the construction and operational aspects of the comb clutch, unraveling its suitability for demanding tasks. Construction of comb clutch. The comb clutch consists of two conical members, one of which is connected to the driving shaft, while the other is connected to the driven shaft. These conical members are coated with friction material to facilitate the necessary frictional engagement when the clutch is activated. The coated surfaces provide the necessary grip for torque transmission. Working principle of cone clutch. When the clutch is engaged, the two conical surfaces come into contact, generating friction that enables the transmission of power from the driving shaft to the driven shaft. This frictional engagement allows for seamless power transmission, making it ideal for heavy-duty applications where a reliable and robust clutch system is crucial. Suitability for heavy-duty applications. The comb clutch's design and working principle make it highly suitable for heavy-duty applications, such as in industrial machinery, heavy vehicles, and marine propulsion systems. Its ability to handle high torque loads and the durability of the friction material make it a go-to choice where rugged performance is a prerequisite. Its capacity to withstand high torque and endure harsh conditions positions it as a pivotal component in the realm of heavy-duty applications. As part one of our series on clutches concludes, we hope you've gained a solid understanding of the first three types. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll explore the next set of clutch types. May your automotive knowledge shift into high gear? Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.